All right, so today we're going to look at adjusting the preload on the wastegate on the 2015 Focus ST we have here. Um, don't see any real videos on this, so I figured I'd make a video even though there's kind of written guides online right now. So basically, first step, we're under the car right now looking at the turbo, but you need to take off the lower splash shield felt thingy, whatever the heck you want to call it, to get to this. Um, I have an aftermarket downpipe here with a defiler, so it makes it... A little bit trickier to get the heat shield out of the way, but we'll see here. Um, first step, there is a. Let's see if I can get the camera up here a little bit. You can see in that hole right there, there was a bolt there. Uh, it was a T30 Torx bit. Uh, it's kind of long. Um, definitely want to do this when the car is cold. Not when it's hot. The bolts are really likely to strip the threads on the head or break it off or something. Um, this car has 35,000 miles about right now, and. It's um, it was pretty tough to get off. I was afraid I was gonna strip the head on it, but some penetrating lubricant probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But another reason why you want this to be cold. So you get that out. Then the next step you need to do is bend the heat shield out of the way to get up. Let's see if I can get the. You kind of see that rod up there? That's the wastegate actuator on there. That's what we need to get to. There's two bolts on it and a retaining clip. So the next step is to get this heat shield bent up out of the way. Um, there's some other bolts up at the top that are kind of holding in place, so um, I think you can get to them if you go from the top, removing the collar and whatnot, but this is kind of trying to make it as simple as possible, just doing it from under the car. So next step is to kind of bend that up and out of the way. All right, so we got the heat shield bun up out of the way now. Um, basically what I actually did is there's another bolt a little bit farther up. It's really hard to show in this. Maybe I can find a photo of it over that outside the car, but there's another bolt up higher um, past that rubber line there that says auto light on it, if you can kind of see it. Um, see where I'm focusing the flashlight up there is a rubber line it's kind of a little bit above it you kind of got to squeeze your hand way up in there so this is definitely a good reason to leave the car cold um, now basically you can see wastegate actuator the actuator nuts are right there with that retaining clip on the top I basically need to pop the retaining clip off as the next step now. Okay, so got the retaining clip off here. Hopefully the camera can focus on it. Um, it's this little thing. It's just kind of clipped onto the top. It's basically sitting like this on top. I basically took a long screwdriver and just kind of pressed up on it. Um, might be not a bad idea to have a magnet sitting around it so it doesn't kind of just shoot off in the middle of nowhere. Um, don't press too hard to the point where you're going to bend this off. Um, and possibly break it but yeah so it's not too terrible all right so now off to the side. get the camera back up here so you can see the two nuts now so the next step is you see the two nuts there's the one on the right of the camera's viewfinder which is towards the passenger side of the car and the one on the left. Basically what you want to do is you want to take the one on the right, tighten that all the way as it'll go, then do the one on the left to the right as far as it'll go, and then put the clip back on and reassemble everything. That's basically it. All right, so it's 10 millimeter to adjust it. You can see now I've got the one on the right tightened all the way to the right. So now you just need to basically do the same to close that gap. All right, and the other nut is tightened down all the way to the right. And the retaining clip is back on now. So basically just need to do the reverse of what we just did. Spin the heat shield back down, bend it back into place. Put uh, the bottom bolt back in as well as tighten or reinstall the top bolt if you remove the top bolt completely. And that's it basically. And hit up your tuner and have them adjust the tune to accommodate for this. You definitely don't want to run this without tuning to adjust it. All right, so heat shield's back on, everything's tightened down and good to go. Only main issue I had was with my defiler here on my downpipe. Kind of got in the way of the adjustment of the back uh, side nut, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I can get a camera all the way up here to see the top nut. You can kind of see it there. Basically what I use, I just loosened that like half a turn basically and that enabled uh, me to kind of pivot the heat shield out of the way once I had the bottom bolt fully removed. And that make it much easier to get up in there instead of just trying to bend it up from the bottom bolt. And that, we're all good to go.